it's McKenna and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a minute since I've done kind of a more fashion type of DIY. August is kind of a weird month. It's still technically summer and it's still really hot, but it's almost fall. So I think I found a DIY that we can do that is going to be really cute for like the next couple of months. So I was scrolling online and actually got inspiration from a website called honestlywtf.com. Such a cute sandal. So I wanted to do something similar, but put my own twist on it and also do a different type of accessory along with the shoe. So earlier today I headed to the Beverly Center to Forever 21 and there I found these strappy shoes. I think I'm going to alter them just a little bit because I like one of the straps, but I don't like the ankle strap, which crisscrosses in the front of your foot. And also I found this cute black suede bag. I don't exactly love the rings, the metal rings on it, but I actually see where you can just slip them off. It came with this strap too, that it can be long. I'm thinking about cutting up this strap and actually replacing the rings of this bag. So it's really chic. Inspired by the Daisy Shoe, I actually want to do a flower that's a little more transitional as we go into fall, and that would be a sunflower. We're going to put our two accessories off to the side and get started making all of our sunflowers. The supplies that we're going to be using is a push mold in flower shapes, some polymer clay in yellow and black for the sunflowers, a baking tray with a sheet of parchment paper, and E6000 glue. And I'm gonna be using the one that looks closest to a sunflower, which is this guy towards the corner. We're gonna start with the center color. And with polymer clay, a little bit goes a long way. Ball it up into a little ball. And we're gonna put it right in the middle. And squish it down. We're gonna get our yellow going. Ball it up. Obviously I don't have enough, so you're just gonna fill it all the way to the top. Once you get it all patted down really well, we're just gonna flip it over and try and pop out the sunflower. Oh my God! It's so cute. So then you're just gonna take your baking tray and place it on the tray. And keep making them until you have as many as you need for your project. So we're gonna put it in the oven on 75 for 15 minutes. Now we wait. Are you done? I do not know. They look pretty. Are they done? Don't touch the oven, go back. You're making me nervous. We gotta let these cool really well before we do anything to them, like putting them on the accessories. So we got to wait. Okay, so while my sunflowers are cooling down, I'm gonna kind of make some alterations to the bag and the shoes. The shoes are super cute like this with just the single strap. So it has two straps across your toes and then this kind of sideways one that goes up like the top of your foot. There's also this guy that comes and it crisscrosses. I don't like this one. So if I just glue it here and cut the rest of these off, I don't need that additional strap and it'll still stay on my foot really well. Wish me luck. Instead of this additional ankle strap, it's just a clean single strap shoe and then you don't have the buckle and you can just slip them on. Okay, so the sandals are done. For the bag, I saw when I was in the store that these hoops could just, see there's a break in the hoop and I could just slip it off. So well, let's try. use this for like another DIY project. I'm thinking that I'm gonna like a simple black handle like this in the same fabric a lot more when all the sunflowers are on it because I feel like the hoops are just too distracting with the design. There's too much going on. I'm just gonna cut the shoulder strap 12 inches. I'm 
So I made loops on the ends of these new handles that we're gonna put on the bag and I just need them to dry. All I did was loop it over and glue it down with some E6000 glue. That just takes a long time to dry. So we'll let those dry and then we'll move on. My sunflowers are all cool. So now we are ready to put the sunflowers on our accessories. We're gonna start with the sandals. So what I'm thinking since it has these three straps. I'm just gonna put a row of sunflowers on the second strap. And in order to put the sunflowers on the sandals, I'm gonna be using this E6000 glue again. Um, and then in order to let it stay really well and stick to the sandal, I'm gonna hold the sunflowers on with just some, what are these called? Uh, are these called clothespins? Let them dry really well. So now that our sandals are drying, we're basically gonna do the same thing to the purse. Instead of it being like straight across, I'm gonna kind of stagger and place the sunflowers kind of spread apart. So I'm gonna start by laying all of them on the purse and then glue them down. So to attach the new handles to the bag, I'm just going to use some thick wire and just slip it through both of the holes and tie it and hide the ends of them so you don't see the leftover wire and that's it. you guys enjoyed this DIY and making some cute fashion accessories for your own for this kind of transitional season. And if you did like this video, definitely hit the like button below. I've got a jammed packed schedule for August because I have tons of ideas and tons of videos I want to bring to you guys. So you're not going to want to miss them. So definitely hit the subscribe button below and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Ben, what's in these?